Oh yeah, we're, no, we're yeah, recording now. So here's the question: Are y'all live editing, or are y'all going to? Edit I don't post? know. I might just roll into it and be like, "Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to the first exactly Boom and Pal podcast, <laughs> the inaugural podcast. Huh? It's like the maiden voyage for podcasts of you man. and your brand." <laughs> so- that was so you. Wait, what that do you mean? Setup, that too. was such a good setup. You had to roll into it. Huh? We're out here. Out here being out here. Uh, let, let me give an introduction to everybody here because this is my first time doing it. Um, I've always wanted to, but, you know, I just want to do it with my good people. You know what I'm saying? Mm, good people Amen. that make me feel, you know, it, I guess at my best. Oh. You know what I'm saying? That's very kind of you. Uh, let's, let's start to my left here. Hello people i am benny y'all don't see my face because i'm always behind the camera i'm the guy that shoots his shit yes majority of the time not all the time because i'm busy with other shit too but yeah benny i have a identity crisis i deal with that has been concocted by this man right here oh uh, funny story in which we're gonna get into we'll get it, into it but we'll get i into mean it. It's legally time to address it. my first name is kevin but don't nobody know that <laughs> well, like i said call me benny we'll get into it Nice to meet you. Huh. Okay. And I am Tyree Spivey. Y'all know me. It's your boy on the channel. Uh, go ahead and give it up to one of my best friends. Well, you don't want to introduce you don't want to introduce me before you introduce your boy. That's true. I gotta do it last. I gotta do it last. I gotta do it. Uh give give it up for uh Royce with no choice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my name is Royce and I have no choice with this damn nigga. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm a boom operator. I do sound. I'm always behind the scenes as well. I don't like being in front so of the camera, but I have to be in front of the camera for yeah, this nigga. But yeah, get your ass here. You're here. Sound is we're, so we're, we're here. Yeah. important, especially so, for a podcast. Right. First time I'm using my damn mixer for a podcast. Hey. Right. But, but but you think about that. You know what I'm saying? It sounds good. People though. be wanting to know who the hell y'all are. Do you they? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make them. Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys me. are just as funny as behind. We need to see you in front. And now, last but not least, <laughs> give it up for one of my best friends in the game, hey. Clayton Thomas C.T., as you know him. Thanks for having me, man. You know? Yeah, what's Honor up? We, we Insert here. sound effects. What's up, man? How you doing today? Edit. I'm incredible, man. Uh, you know? Uh, here's the funny thing, man. This is also my first time in your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Did you Dang. say that was your best friend, nigga? I'm like, man, <laughs> you just you one of the you've, been in my, you've been in my new crib twice, uh-huh. and this is the first time I've been here <laughs> and to shoot your first part. So I guess it all works out. It all works out on some friends. So I was gonna let you. Know. I had to get some shit here. I can't. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you're one of those friends. Like, oh, you ain't got shit yet, huh? No. Okay. Let me go ahead and no. No. Here's the funny not. thing. I never judge people's cribs. I no. always just. I do. You know what's funny? Like after you. <laughs> After you hit like 25, you just be grateful for invites anywhere. You be like, yeah. oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come. Yeah, I'm, I'm just grateful to be come, out. Come through, come through. All right, so this is a closet. Uh, where that do I? Ain't. And I'll be there with bells on. You understand me? Cool little closet. Oh, you got a whole bar for your clothes. That's okay, fire. that's what's up. I see you doing your you thing. Got a door. It do like that. That's dope. I'm big up it. That's my shit. Oh my god. So just man, um, what I say? I, I really want to get into. Just uh, who the fuck we are? Yeah, like who we are, what we do. I also didn't know this was gonna be like the first podcast. I thought this was. I thought I was like coming on as a guest on your joint. Yeah, and you'd already established this. Yeah, nah, no. never. This is okay. This is on the fly. That would have been a great idea. They though. called me last night. I did actually great. say that last time. That would have been great. Yeah, hey, you know. I mean, how do you want me to do it? it we got to do it to do it, right? Well, I feel like. I yes mean, and like right. these are yes your and. this is your crew you know right. what I'm saying you got no choice Royce. right you got uh yeah. Benny whose real name is Michael I, I, it's, I, <laughs> I got all the names I got all the names lots to introduce to the people and then you like yo we got CT here right and it's like this is y'all show right and I'm the guest right but you can't have a guest on a pilot episode how you gonna tell me how to do my we are breaking pilot? the I'm telling rules you, there's no rules to this okay watch this what happens when this episode is fire. <laughs> 
right? right? Oh my God. Oh, we clicking on all levels. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of us are just on every cylinder. Right. And then next week comes, and I'm not here. Uh-huh. It's y'all three, and it's like, oh man. So, um, so, so, well, yeah, you reminisce oh, about the first uh, episode and then <laughs> just wait till the next guest comes. I'm just around. telling you, man. I mean, what do you want us to do? Do it over? What, do I mean, it again? Honestly, what he's saying is we have to like set the tone for every of episode. Of course, setting so the tone. So now every episode has to have a guest on it. Right. That's, I understand that's, that. That's, I mean, I understand that. And which is not. Not a problem. I do know a lot of people. Yeah, we got a good like you know, twenty three episodes. You know, <laughs> waiting solid just in the chamber. But that twenty fourth, like, nigga, and that's just on people on, on <laughs> off the stand, off the stand, off the stand. Yeah, you know, not let's not go through the roller. No, 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 you can't go through the roller. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Because that's just that's up. that's crazy. That's, that's out of here. Your you know celebrity client. You know what's funny? I remember when you had cut this dude's hair once, <laughs> and I was like, "Yo, you know Tim Meadows?" <laughs> and you're like, "Yeah, I've been cutting his hair." You were so unimpressed. <laughs> <laughs> that you were cutting the hair. I'm like, do you know who this is? This is the ladies' man, bro. This is SNL. He's like, yeah, he's cool. And I'm like, wow. So you just, got that list of people. I didn't, I didn't, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm, Tim I'm grateful. Meadows. I, what are you talking about? Bro? I took a picture with him that day. I was so happy. Oh, yeah, man. He's a cool dude, bro. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out to Tim Meadows. You he still cutting the hair? No, he definitely fired the shit out of me. Oh, Because I want to do the job he wanted to do. Oh. So, you know, it's <laughs> kind of comp. You know, do it. How did he fire you? It was more so a mutual he just, thing. He just stopped me, showing give up. Give me the story. It, it was more so, like, I, I even, I got to cut him in the first place because from uh, this barber, his name is Q. He works at Legends the Barbershop. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out. That was, shout out to Q. Mm. Good, good dude. Okay. okay. Um, he he was like, he, he couldn't. I think he had somebody else to do. He, I think he was doing Avengers, so he was giving me that. He also. was doing Avengers? Yeah, he was like, yeah, I'm doing Avengers, so you go ahead and have that one. I'm like, Wow. Oh, all right. Avengers? <laughs> yes. Yeah. What yeah. was he doing though? He was like a I mean he cuts he cut I think he cuts Don Cheeto. It's Don Cheeto. 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 And Cheeto. probably Ooh, Anthony Mackey. Yeah, Anthony Mackey. That's what I was L. thinking. Chadwick Boseman, L, perhaps. R.I.P. Lord rest his soul. Yeah. Uh, he was all the black people. All the Niggas. white people for sure. Maybe the Dora Milaje. Yeah. yeah well, he had to shave all them bald headed girls' heads. <laughs> he was cutting everybody. I'm talking about everybody. I, I mean, Avengers. Yeah, that was You can was take wild. Tim Meadows, SNL legend. There you go. Yeah. Take like the ladies' man. <laughs> yeah. Leon Phelps, it's all you. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all you. You're yeah, good. y'all talk. Yeah. And then what? Cool. All right. And so, I mean, I was like, you know, it was a follow up haircut. I'm there. Mm hmm. Ha <laughs> It's that third one. You know, he was like, I really need this one. I was like, I really need your job too mm. you know i had an audition and i think i uh too soon it was so soon mm. it was just so soon you didn't even build a relationship I didn't yet the relationship yet to do that sorry you gotta build the relationship yeah i know now what are you talking about? you're talking to me from four or five years ago you're right <laughs> Future Tyree, right? Man, make sure you build a relationship. Yeah, you... I hate to hear it. It's like it was bad. It it's was... like you know what? Like, like with you guys, you know, what I'm saying Royce and uh, Benny, what you guys do, you are around some prominent people and things, and I'm sure you know how to handle yourself now. Yeah, but at the beginning, you didn't. I pride myself on knowing how to handle that shit in the beginning. No, I'm not gonna lie, I. Definitely did. It's because, okay, doing what I do behind the camera now, like working with a lot of people and directing and, you know, obviously producing some shit for people as well, it was not my first go about of like entertainment. Because mm. I was a nigga in front of the camera for a while. Mm. And I was also a professional dancer. So, like, I he's was on. Crump. He's a crump for time. What? I was on <laughs> stage. He's to, he's don't crumper. try to fucking skate past that part. <laughs> so I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Slow that part down. You were crumping. <laughs> You were crump. You were a crump dancer. I, I, I crump. It was. I, I did a lot. I did a lot of shit. I did a lot of shit. But he was I was on, shit. bro. I was, still... I was. I was hip hop dancer and just through in and general. Through. Okay, in general. got it. Yeah. He's still buck, bro. That's the thing. I'm Nobody retired, knows. Guys. He's still I retired buck. in 2013. Nah, at your wedding, you came out. I saw you were buck at your wedding. I was drunk at my wedding too. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Swing over. Gotta do it. Go got ahead. married. Um, but yeah, so it was like knowing, like not. Being that guy on set, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That's like starstruck. The show I trying to like impress everybody around. Yeah. It's annoying. You know what I mean? I was, I from jump, I was like, I don't want to be that guy because I've seen that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. seen that shit on set. I've seen people like doing like background shit in the very, yeah. very early ages of me trying to like do shit. I'm like, yo, that nigga is cringe. 
I hope I'm never going to be that nigga. So I'm like, True. I made sure learn from him doing what he's doing. Don't do ABC yeah. because it's like you will not get the reaction you want. Oh, so yeah, yeah, moving forward, I'm like, yeah, I know how to handle myself on set. Yeah, I give you this. Well, go ahead, bro. Yeah, it's the same because I started off in the music industry, so I seen a lot of people make mistakes, like yeah. fucking up microphones and all that stuff mm. and getting cussed out. And I was like, I don't want to be that guy. So and plus, most of the stars you see. If you're in it to be around um, stars, you're going to be disappointed because most of them are weirdos. And so assholes. Don't I, meet your heroes. So all yes. I do is do my job, do my thing, and people appreciate that more than versus be like, hey, oh, oh my God, yes. Like, I, I like your work and all that stuff. But I'd rather tell them I like their work when we're working. I'm like, oh, that's dope. Yeah. Like, also, I, amazing I like hairline, brother. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. I feel like. <laughs> he uh, cut the hair. Shout out, Tyree. Yeah, yeah great, great. I'm job. in his seat. Uh, well, you know, you can't really, I can't thank you for his hairline, right? <laughs> but for what you do the with The world hair, thanks right. you, though, for you know, the hairline. The world. Good job. Right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you have to, like, you hate to be that guy. Like, on sets, I learned really early how to bond with people quickly, right? Mm -hmm. So, my first thing had always been, with women, right? Right. If, if I'm talking to a guy on set, that's the first bond that y'all have. It's looking mm. at a beautiful woman and y'all mm. lock eyes about yeah. that. Bam. Or uh, if somebody's into comic book stuff or Power Rangers or I could just never bond with the guys that were immediately into sports. Then it's like, ah, that's not my thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But uh, actors and actresses and producers, bam, I got you. Or, you know, comedy. But I've never been the... I'm about to make everybody laugh off stage. Off stage, I'm very quiet. Mm. So, so quiet. Yeah. So calm. But you still be killing though. Ah man, I'm just a very shy dude. So I, I like to say this. <laughs> I can perform in front of twenty thousand people <laughs> jokes. But if it's a room of like six people, you feel uh, more judged. Man, I'm silent, bro. I'm, wa are. I'm watching everybody else be funny. You want nah, he literally it. is. He'll tap in and give you a mm. Yeah. And that's it. It, it, it. Like, when the hell you turn to an audience member? <laughs> Fuck all these knee slappers. <laughs> all these I'm knee all, slappers. I've always noticed that. I'm yeah. like, well, what, can you come out the cut? What no. are you talking You kill it. Very shy. Wow. I'm deathly shy. I'm shy to those environments. I'm shy even to the point where um, people often ask me, like, because you'll see me on stage and people are like, um, or even through the videos, people feel like they know me. Which is a version of me, right? Mm -hmm. But when I'm when I'm not in front of a camera or when I'm like off stage, mm -hmm. I'm so quiet. People are like, "Yo, are you all right?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm having a good time." Man. I mean, it is, <laughs> it's, it's yeah, true though, because like, but, but you're not Clayton in right now. You're not CT in right now. Just chilling, man. You know, <laughs> it's a like, misconception. Mm -hmm. Like people feel like the person that you are on screen or on stage. That is you, and they connect with that person. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of hot. It's hard for the average person that's not in that field, that you know, in the industry, um, to understand that this is just the person I want you to see. This is a character. Because mm -hmm. they even say like comedians are like they have like the darkest past. You know what I mean? Man. It's like, mm. and you can like it's all like laughing through your pain. Mm. Like I'm sarcastic as shit because I've been through so much. But it's like right. I have to make light of whatever because it's like. Nothing you can do or nothing bad that happens is gonna phase me yeah. to a point where make me feel uncomfortable. Mm, Cause right. I've been my tolerance has been through the roof for years. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean I agree with that. Well, for the, in order the comedian thing, there are a lot of comedians who had horrible childhoods. I'm not one of them. Man, yeah, I'm not uh, saying I'm a comedian. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm no, no, no. Like, like, yeah, yeah, I've I never had that darkness. Like the thing about my comedy has always been like relationships and observations mm -hmm. because I talk about my own insecurities mm -hmm. and the things that I've seen and how I will react to them. But a lot of comedians have, are so horrible childhood. I'm like, man, my parents were amazing. Uh, I had everything that I could ever want. My sisters love me. You know what I mean? Like, it's, <laughs> it's almost unfair for me to talk about my, my childhood compared to people whose mothers don't love them. Right. Yeah. No, that's fact. Yeah, that is hilarious. I'm like, my mom calls me every day. She'll be like, <laughs> look at this video. I'm like, ha, ha, and then go back to what I was doing. I mean, my mom cool, but I still feel like growing up, I still got an ass whooping I didn't deserve. Oh, yeah. Because I, oh, look, yeah. I looked like my dad. You oh, still, yeah. What? Damn. I get somebody else's yeah. ass whooping. Yeah, because he ain't there, and you there, and you remind her of him. Bro, it's cool. Him. Bro. It's, cool. <laughs> it's cool, bro. It's you and your still mom holding are that so shit close. Y'all got the same face until I saw your dad. And I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's his dad. Son. But you and your mom are so close, bro. I love your mom. She's a sweetheart. Yeah, man. I, I do love my mom. She's a. She she definitely tells it how it is when I remember you were dating a girl. Asked you. She was. Uh, 
she was a short haired young lady. Uh huh. And uh, <laughs> you FaceTimed your mom one day when he was with the girl. And his mom said, Y'all look like two bald head boys sitting in the bed together. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> she did oh, say that shit. Yeah, boys. Oh my god. It was great timing. Oh, her, her, her timing was god. impeccable. Mama, I don't know why she said that. That was mean as Man. hell. I, I got broken up with immediately for some shit. <laughs> <laughs> she left me immediately. She sabotaged so what you and your mom was really talking though. shit. No, no, no. To me, mama, I didn't know my mom was going to even say that. I didn't know what I was going to say. What you was going to say that? I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know she I didn't was going to say that. Damn. Your mom is funny, bro. <clears throat> bro. I mean, just recently. I mean, <clears throat> damn, bro. What, what did she say? <sighs> it's just too, it's so wild to even say. You got to say it now. It's like, just recently. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, okay, so my Sanaya, my daughter, mm -hmm. 15 years old. Crazy. You know, got a whole teenager. Whole teenager. That, that's a lot. That's a lot to take care of. She wearing you know? makeup now? I was like, is that makeup? Man, I, I just, I just her have out. two dogs Because you can't even allow, I don't know, like these generations is so, it's such a gap. It's a gap between the people before us and the ones after us. And I'm like, we're in the middle. Mm -hmm. So me making that connection is like, ah, I hear you. What the mm -hmm. hell you saying? But did, have you heard what she's saying? It's right. But the way she's been communicating, you mm. know, it's I don't I, I don't like it because mm -hmm. I'm trying to attack it. Yeah. Not how they be doing it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I keep I keep reverting back. Mm. I keep reverting back. I, I, I'm your father. Hey. <laughs> hey, I'm don't you father. talk? Hey, I'm your father. Don't. Hey, you talking back? Won't you walk forward? Cause I'm your father. Striking fear, because I'm five. But uh, mm. so you know, <laughs> my mom, I'm I'm in LA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're in Houston. Mm -hmm. My mama calls me, and my think Sanaya, Tyree. I was like, yes, mama. What, Lord? What? The, <laughs> what is it now? What is it now? Ty come get your daughter. Like that's not your granddaughter. <laughs> what the hell, mama? <laughs> You it's, have jurisdiction as well. Yeah. These parents, they be so disrespectful, and you don't realize yeah. what the dis... It was so blatant, bro. Like, and, and the worst part is they forget. Mm -hmm. She called... She had the nerve to call my daughter trifling. Mm. She said... She died... She, yeah, she called her trifling. She called her fucking trifling. She called her trifling. I said, oh, my God. I just It made me think about when I was younger... Mm -hmm. I was a little kid, mm. you know, I was about like five or six, and I remember my uh, stepdad and my mama arguing, mm -hmm. and it was about the house being messy, and he said, I'm just saying, you know, we kind of trifling around. He kind of just said it like, it kind of looked trifling. We could probably do a lot better. <laughs> when I tell you she fucking lost it. Yeah, women lose it. Trifling? <laughs> trifling? <laughs> I'm your fucking wife. Trifling? I make it just from a pile of clothes, but I know where all my shit is, mama. What? You so the fact that you go to you you went through all of that and put my daughter through that, and then I brought it up to her. She said, "I don't remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they'll never remember. They don't. They gaslight the shit out of you. That's the part that I don't like. This mm. don't make. Now you're making me sound crazy as you when yeah. you was there. Yeah." <laughs> they remember that shit. They just mm. was one shot. Oh, I don't remember that shit. Nah, I'm not gonna claim remember. that. Are you one. sure they they're not gonna claim it? Any, if any side, it was your father, and that wasn't That's, me. Yeah, but my mom <laughs> does this thing where now she's, you know, she's so peaceful. <clears throat> she's always got this and got that, mm -hmm. and oh, you know, I'm living for my kids and mm -hmm. my grandkids, and she forgets the person she was, <gasps> which was this impatient, Man. angry woman, right? <sighs> So when she hears me get upset about something, she's like, patience, my son. I'm like, when did you teach me that? <laughs> <laughs> when, when was patient? You didn't get patient until the last 10 years. <laughs> so it's, yeah, they they definitely got a short memory, bro. Yeah, they it's kind of just put me in this space where it's like, all right, you know yeah. what? I'm cool. I'm going to just keep doing what I got to do mm -hmm. and just keep enforcing positivity. Yeah, got it up. And uh, I guess reminders. Because parents don't mm. really be giving the fuck. No, hell no. You ain't shit to your parents. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not at all. Well, I didn't they always know, have something for you. I didn't know that parents said they really think in their mind they shit don't stink. 
whatsoever. Like, it for in general, there are the ones that be like, "Oh yeah, I understand where you're coming from." You understand? You understand me? The hell you mean by that? What you saying? What was I understanding when I was ten? <laughs> telling you the teacher didn't like me, and you said I ain't there to be liked. I'm there to do the tour. <laughs> yep. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> You're not there to make friends. You ain't there to make friends. And you know what's funny? Hearing <clears throat> that, that sounds like something somebody unpopular would say. You're yep. not there to make friends. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to be the man. I'm sh- <laughs> I don't want to hear that I ain't trying, trying to be to popular. Be Got me prom king somehow, nigga. The hell? <laughs> that should have been homecoming king and class clown. I didn't. I felt like uh, while I was so loud or just a happy kid growing up. So and, happy. And it wasn't of. Like I didn't, I don't think I didn't get enough of it at mm-hmm. home. Mm-hmm. You know, I was watching a lot of TV, but I would want people to. I want to be happy as fuck. So let yeah. me make somebody feel how I want to yeah, yeah, feel. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it just carried on into like a lot of trouble. But you're so funny. But you're also like your energy is so bright. Like you're such a happy dude that I think, and nobody really knows the other side. You like to fight. And Bro, people, can't, you don't want them to know that. I didn't. I didn't. Not that I don't like to fight. Oh, okay. I would protect myself for for purposes. Oh, I get where you're going you with it. Anyway, rule number one and so, two. You're such a nice. We don't talk about light fight. guy, but it's like <laughs> that talk about switch fight, be hilarious because oh, it'd yeah. be like, oh man, he really feels like this. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I know because it's crazy when I would call with my rants. Man, man I was angry for some years. Man, yes. and be ready to fight. And then somebody come over, you be like, "What's up now?" Boom, pow. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm about to fight this nigga, <laughs> and I don't you think he realizes that I'm about to sock the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> and it would be all of those conversations, and I'm like, man, yo. And it was so calm. I said, hey, bro, I'm really about to hit them in the ribs. Mm-hmm. Uh, can I call you back? Let me let me uh, <laughs> yeah, let me holler at you because I'm really contemplating. I need to <laughs> can't about to run an errand real quick. Alone, real quick, my. G- yeah. But also, you as a kid, you were a really fat kid. Mm-hmm. I was a fat kid. Damn. It's you were so. But well, we're not body shaming though. No, no, no. That at all. you did not. I say this for y'all. He was so fat. He doesn't look like the same person. Not because you lost the weight. Just physically in your face, there's a com- you have a completely different face. Yeah. Like when you show me a kid picture, I'm like, who the fuck is this? You like that's me. I'm like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> and not because of the weight. It's just like something about nigga. It's weird. I wish you would post a picture. Oh man, of you as a kid and you now. It's two <laughs> yeah, completely different edit. people. I could That's do funny. that to edit. I could probably put it up here. There it goes. It's wild. There it is. Don't you're judging. That's <laughs> wild. keep it going. Keep it going with the. <laughs> the only thing the same are your mm-hmm. eyes. That's the only thing that you be like. Okay, I think this is him. Yeah, different the- people, bro. <laughs> Oh, the eyes I was, Windows bro. I soul. mean, I think even then, you know, we're all just trying to live or trying to develop as people or mm-hmm. exist. What you was know? the moment you lost weight? I think it had to be a girl. Nah, it wasn't what a was girl. It? It, it, it was. <laughs> it was right when I. You know what happened uh, in the eighth grade? Mm-hmm. It was like a lot of people got to go to, uh, <laughs> bro. They got to go to high school, mm-hmm. like to the to the big high school. But mm-hmm. I had to go to like. The little one. What? I had to go. It, they you went to continuation had, school, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> they had, they only had. Kid. Look, you had to listen. You had to go there for one semester. If either you fuck up, mm-hmm. if you fuck it up, you got to go to the whole year, the whole nine Damn. and ten, right? But you can get out that first semester. I said, okay. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm getting out. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Because that's where I start getting with all the cholas, got all you. the cholos and shit. But I was like, bro, I'm a little fat kid. As soon as I got over to high school, I made it out, bro. I, I made it out. I made. I just started doing PE. I didn't know about PE. You didn't know about it. <laughs> Wait. I didn't know about it, bro. I didn't How do you know not about know? it. Said I was such a fat kid. Such, I didn't know PE was a thing. I didn't know it was a crazy. thing. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't know what to think. What? I was fast though. I was always like a fast, mm-hmm. like evasive. Like, bro, mm-hmm. why are you so agile and you like chubby at the same mm-hmm. time? Something's <laughs> off. Like, <what's>, <laughs> this <laughs> you don't make sense. I'm telling you, mm-hmm. I, I was so un. I, it was like the the mental things that you. It's some stuff that I feel like I do now. Like, oh, like why would I? When I was, 
I remember when I was big, if I feel like, oh, I'm not in shape, my best shape, I'll like pull my shirt out yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah. Like the shirt, the, uh, the chubby boy the, tub. The chubby boy. Yeah, I know what yeah. you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that now, so. There's a name for it? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. It. Chubby boy <laughs> tub. That's definitely what it is. Chubby boy tub. <laughs> that, and here's the funny Hashtag thing. Hashtag chubby boy tug. Chubby boy tug. The funny thing is, <laughs> you think when you tug on your shirt that that's going to make you look slimmer. Like, it we does. all think we that. Thought. Oh, yeah. They, they're not going to think I'm chubby now. No, no, you, no, just no, wear, you just wear black. You just, you're just wear chubby. black. You're Man. just still chubby. I was walking through the convenience store and I looked up at the camera. I was like, who's that fat ass nigga? Oh, that's me. Damn. Damn. I was like, God <laughs> damn. I, damn. I gotta lose weight. Damn, bro. I'm sorry. Damn. It's all right. Okay. I went from fighting to this, so I know what, the, what it does to take yeah, to do that. Yeah, I just got married. Just, you just Relati- got <laughs> relationship weight. Oh, so you said, here's the funny thing. It's literally funny that y'all are two different sides of the room. <laughs> two <laughs> Because he feels one way and you're like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I know what to do to get back. You're like, yeah, man, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it is I'm what it is. Good. She said, I do. I mean, yeah. th- okay, look at it like this. Like, like what was I? I'm going to say like, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, it was all about niggas with abs. You realize like this pro dad bod movement that girls are promoting nowadays is getting like, you really ain't got to do much and girls are still going to look at you. Yeah. Girls are looking for dad bods. Like, you know what a dad bod was 10 years ago? Mm -hmm. It was the anti-abs. It was literally the opposite of abs. I got to... Go ahead, disagree. Only reason I'm going to disagree... Is because abs will always be in. I mean, no, I'm not saying it's always. not. I'm not saying it's right. not. We always, always want them, but, but it's so much more acceptable to have a dad bod nowadays. It's not. Is it's it not. though? I'm telling you, somebody that's that's living in this shell right now, brother. Okay. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> they don't want. It's like, bro. It's like they can sign all these petitions and say this online all they want. All it takes is for you to be in a room with a dude with, with abs, abs. I know, I and a you. girl, and see the attention she gives him. Versus what she gives you, married or not. And you're like, oh, okay, this this ain't what it is. This ain't what it is. This <laughs> yeah. ain't. I so thought, it's all cap. Because I thought oh, she was it's all a cap. liar. I thought she it's was all interested, cap. but she not. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, that's definitely all, all right, well, yeah. that's, you know, I remember when I was in shape, busted. I was getting it. <laughs> you was but getting now it, I'm not in shape. <laughs> I'm kind of getting it. You know what's funny? I'll give you this. I remember being in what I thought was in shape, right? Which, you know, you look at pictures, you'd be like, man... To preface this, I've always been somebody that never liked when people said anything about my size, big or small. Because once you get in somebody's mind of their self-image, yes. you ruin them, right? Yes. So I remember being extremely small in hindsight and uh, someone saying to me, oh, yeah, you know, because you're a little chubby. And I'd be like, oh, man, I'm chubby, oh. right? And then Cancel that nigga. fast forward, I had gained this weight and I looked back at that picture and I was like, I was small as fuck. Why would I let somebody get in my mind? Mm -hmm. So anyway, with that said, it's like you remember being a certain size and being in shape. And I remember knocking them down for reasons that were beyond me. Right? Like you were just in the right place at the right time. Then you get bigger and it's like, you got to persuade. you like, so what's yes. up? I, I, I let you know because things, and you like, I don't, I don't like, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't remember this. Like, I don't remember this happening. So I know that's the about. difference. If you small, <laughs> Women are going for it, bro. Yes. When you bigger, if you ain't got no money, I don't know what to tell you. Your mouthpiece. Got to be crazy. <laughs> got to be crazy. Your mouthpiece Your got personality got to be on 10. On 10. Got to be. I felt that's why I I am the way I am. Because, As it should be. I mean, of course, personality on 10, but mm-hmm. I was like even more like magnified. Like, because in my head, I'm like, oh, no, I'm sorry, a little fat kid. Mm. You know what I mean? I, I guess I have to get out of that. But sometimes yeah. you never get out of it. You no, never not see yourself. Even at my smallest, I still saw myself as the biggest person in the room. But you got to also remember this, man. Uh, you're it's just like you said. You're like, I know what to do. The reason you're not doing it is because you're still getting laid like this. The moment that you stop getting laid like this mm-hmm. is when you'll do it. That's when everybody changes. No, the women that sleep with me see all this gear and stuff. You, he must be somebody. So that's <laughs> <what we're> <laughs> Shout out Royce to the mic. Shout out to Royce with no choice. <laughs> Royce with no choice. <laughs> Smacking them and knocking them down. <laughs> Getting bites. Man, it's, it's, al- it's always women in the uh, industry. And they see all this shit and then they be like, yeah. Oh, that means you're dating women that are over 29 years old. Because usually when women are over a certain age, they start thinking yeah. more with their minds. Mm. 
27 to 32. That's a big Hey, you're killing it, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Don't stop. That's it. Don't that's stop. Can't stop. Rock nice. records. <laughs> that's, that's probably as low as Rory's I got his range. You know what, though? It, uh, well, like when we when we started on IG, we were, what, 28? No, because that was 2014. So 2017, I was 31. Yeah, so you so, just... I'm 36 now. Yeah. So in 2017, Dang. I'm 31. You were 30. <laughs> How old are you? I'm, just, I'm 34. I'm oh, okay. 35. I'm the oldest niggas here. How old are you? I'm 39. 30. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. So You well, know, black don't crack. I just broke some shit. That's oh, my bag. That's good. I was 31. You were 30. And we were around girls that were between 21 and up. Right. And it was like, all right, you know what? I wouldn't, obviously, I wouldn't date none of them because I'm married. But it's right. like, you look at them and you're like, I couldn't deal with. A girl that young, right? Yep. Because I could. they were just mentally, you know, it was so much going on. Yeah, like I couldn't even understand. I didn't know, but I'm like, after you're you're out of it and you're looking in, it's like, yep. they be worried about the wrong shit. I look, I look shit. at shit like, like where were they at when I graduated high school? <laughs> mm. It's like, damn, you were like in third grade. That is true. Mm. Not doing that. <laughs> you know, that it's, is, yeah, that it's so becomes weird. creepy. Like, it, it makes you think about it different. Like, where was I at? Because I turned 18, I'm legal, but it's like, where mm. were you at? Like, once you turn 18, then age is end up a number. Bruh. But when you think about the age gap, yeah. it, it re- I, I get more like on the realization what that is when I compare it to like where I left high school, where were they at? And it's just like, yep, yeah, kills all that. Like, yeah. where were the, like, I think I get what you're saying. Like, women now are way more finer. Yeah. Yes. Way more fine. Way finer. more fine. And it's like, where was that when? Because, like, for instance, now everybody used to make fun of me because I used to like cholas and shit back yeah. in the day, right? <laughs> You're doing it again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, now if you look at the ones back then versus the ones now, oh my God. their makeup is so evened out, perf, no Way crinkly. Hair. It looked beautiful. Crazy. Like everybody, there's you cannot not do your hair wrong. Your your baby hair, like everything is just a re. So <laughs> I see, like every like now women now are elites. There are yeah. elites. Period. Granted. It's because of the it's, gram, though. It's yeah, the gram, gram helps them. Like before, like <laughs> the gram was yo the filter. Unless you in Texas. That took the filters away in Texas. Sorry for you, but unless Man. you're like, because I think like the the style of makeup the women use, you can tell it's almost like a copy and paste mm-hmm. with a little uh, tweaks here and there. Yeah, it's like you were following a rubric. Yeah, and you're just fitting it to your face because yeah. it's the same so almost yeah. the the nose. Oh 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 my god. <laughs> Oh my god. So <laughs> a lot of black women are a lot more black women are starting to get these nose jobs. And I'm always a fan of yo, you know, it's your money, do whatever you want, it's your body, do your thing. Right. However, right. as your brother, I'm going to say you don't need to change that nose because not because we want you better naturally. Unless you got into a freak accident, I understand. But, and I hope that you guys will listen to what I'm saying. Mm. Don't judge in the comments. Black women, especially, we have wider noses in a black community. Black women get their noses, their bridges Mm -hmm. thinner, right? Right. And why this is not good is because the surgeon that's doing this is not taking care of the muscle tissue. Let me give you an example. When I smile. You see how my muscle tissue connects to the bridge of my nose? Mm-hmm. Right. Right? When, if I was to get a nose job, he would then thin out my nose. He wouldn't touch the muscles in my cheeks. Wow. So, therefore, when I get this nose job and I smile, you're going to see this muscle detached from the bridge of my nose. Ugh. Thus making the nose job look ridiculous. I saw a girl last night at yeah. this, at this when she uh, concert. Exactly. And that's my point. So uh, She was on stage, too. So She's doing a tour contest. Tyree showed I'm us. I'm like, uh, yeah, someone's worked out. I'm like, that nose job is terrible. I know He that showed now. us a video. About. He showed me a video of uh, this girl uh, that, you know, he was like, oh, man, she's so cold. I was like, that nose job. He was like, what are you talking about? And I, was, and I explained what I said to him. And then he was like, oh, my God, I see it now. I saw it. And, and that's the first thing I see when I see these nose jobs. Look at celebrities. Their muscle tissue connects to the nose. And if it doesn't, that nose job, 
unless you're going to get a surgeon to take care of the muscle tissue in your smile yeah. when you're smiling or frowning, then your nose job doesn't look natural and it makes your other features look way wider mm. than the thinness of oh, your nose. Oh, like that's even, damn. I that's pay attention. Like, that's, that's, that's a lot of detail. I mean, that a hey, lot of people should pay attention to before doing it. Yeah. I'm just saying, if but, you're going to do it, just, you know. And yeah. if you're going to get your stomach done with the with the BBL, understand that, yes, if you have enough money, you're going to continue to get your BBLs when it's time to get them redone. However, when I you get a this. fat transfer, fat, <laughs> fat is toxic to our bodies. Mm -hmm. So as men, as women, when we gain weight, it's like, man, this is not good to be in my body. So if you to take that fat and basically move it to another part of your body, this is the first generation of people who've done that. Mm -hmm. So you don't know what it's going to be Detrimental wise Ooh. to your health. See y'all in eight oh, years. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah. man. This is fat. <laughs> fat isn't supposed to be in us like that. Nah, that's true. Yeah, man. <clears throat> you could destroy the lining. Well, you know, this ain't. Nah, I mean, there, right, there's been it's cases it's where that. girls this pass away doctors. because of the BBLs they got. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at it like this girls go out of the country to like Panama, like this, you know, South, South American countries. To do it because the FDA is doing shit out here that they can't do out there and it's way more cheaper out there mm -hmm. yeah. for a reason. But it's like, you know, there's some corners cut, there's some more, there's higher risks. Right. And I, there was like Instagram models, um, I forget her name, I think it's Jocelyn Cano. She was like a big Instagram model. Got hella work done. She passed away like Damn. last Man. year. I mean, it's or like, very, like a year ago, maybe two years ago. But it's like because of that, I'm like in my head, I'm like, yo, I've known you on the gram for like a long time and mm -hmm. always had work done. Man. And there's a point I'm like, I can tell, in my opinion, you're good now. Like you, you're perfect. It's addictive. They Ugh. see one but blemish. Then, it is. Bam. It's, 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 it's like you. I'm it's like out of there. You're yeah, getting more and more work. Up. I'm like now you're playing Russian roulette with this shit. Yeah. And then unfortunately, you know, God rest her soul. Like she passed away from you know one too many procedures. And like, here's the thing. I again, I salute every woman's choice to do whatever they want with their bodies. I just just make sure it's what you truly want right. instead of um trying to be appeasing to other people's opinions of you because you got to live with yourself. Oh, that's, right. that's society. That's the part because through. at the end of the day, you still sleep alone. We are, sleep alone. Yeah, we yeah. are subject and, to the public and, opinion. And, and, the court and, of public and opinion. this isn't just for women either. This is for men too. Yeah. We, just, we saw that. What's that one dude? That the just, lipo? Yeah, he got liposuction. I'm like, fam, you couldn't just go on a juice diet? Listen, like, man. He's like, I've been working out hard oh, something, and nothing been working. Was something, Kev? Yes. I, I don't know his name. I don't know his name. He said he'd been working out hard. Nothing was making a difference. And he decided to eat the lipo. We all know that if you literally go on a 15-day <laughs> fruits and vegetable yeah. diet, yeah, man, like, that you will drop... <laughs> Almost all of your stomach. Yes, goes. like stop, bro. He was. He, I think that uh, was for maybe money or something to say, "Hey, I did this for this surgery." Like a brand deal. Yeah, like a brand deal. <laughs> Why Doctor not? Miami. He don't give a damn. <laughs> it's in Miami. Yeah, he don't give a damn, bro. I don't know where it is, but I'm just saying, Doctor Miami. Oh like, yeah, he's, he's that nigga I think about when it comes to like girls in the plastic surgery. Yeah, I but, never thought I would see like you know we've seen very massively obese people get this uh, lipo surgery, right? But. My thing is not for the health thing, but like for this dude, he was. I went from two eighty five to two twenty or something. Yeah, two twenty two or something. Yeah, yeah. like, some it's 232. like, look, man, you could have ran, bro. You really could have did <laughs> cardio. It don't matter. <laughs> cardio every day for like three weeks, bro. It's a microwave diet. Here's the thing. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> if he would have lost a more dramatic amount of weight, I would stall him out. Like, if he was like, y'all went from 284 to 162, yeah. that'd be crazy. I'd be like, all right, you yeah. know right. I saw a TikTok today where a dude was, like, in the gym, and it's like, one of those, like, how I got, how I lost 332 pounds. And it's had, like, the before. Yeah. And had him work out until after. I'm like, damn, you lost 332 pounds? You lost, like, two humans. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you, this dude lost, like, 56 pounds. Yeah, 56 pounds, you could have just went on a diet. Yeah. <laughs> it don't take that long. No, it doesn't take long. That's, that's sweat cream, nigga. Like, yeah. literally sweat cream. Nigga, you could have been fucking every day. It would have been cool, like, for out. 
If you would have been running every morning, eating fruits and vegetables, yes. and smashing at yeah, night, that's smashing a, at night, you're that's good. just a lifestyle change. You're good for the better. You're, I'm as about, a man, you're gonna drop the weight, and, and that's still like a good like, like, this, like that's like a good abs. like, like yes. gotta, that's like a nine weeks. week drop. I see people drop more than that in like a twelve weeks time yeah. time span. So it's yeah. like it doesn't take forever. It's just about <laughs> the consistency. You gotta want to do it, and that's what honestly, even for me, I have the worst consistency when it comes to working out. Oh, like man. I would start, I would like it, I'd be sore. I'm like cool, I'm then. But honestly, I mean, to my point, I do be working a lot. So it's like I have days where it just throws me all off and right. I'm like not able to go to the gym when I want to. So it just, you know, I fall off and then, you know, you can't it back and shit. You start eating crap. But it's like if you're able to have that set schedule, just working out 45 minutes, an hour, an hour and a half a day, eat. And you ain't got to like go on a crazy diet. Yeah. You just no. eat better. Yeah, not right. like fast food shit, but just eat something that's not processed. Work and you know, you can meal prep, whatever, but it's like a cool two and a half, three weeks, you will see a big difference. A big difference. As long as you do it a daily, daily, daily kind of thing. Yeah. No, it's true. And when I was training with professional it. fighters five days a week, I was killing no fat. Right? Oh, yeah. But once Back I in stopped, my prom days, the same yeah. shit. <laughs> once yeah. I stopped, Six, seven hours a day. Oh, bro. So it was, I, was, I was like hard cardio, but it's like I had nobody. Bro, fat. I was getting in relationships just to break up so I could get That's fine funny. after. What? Shut what? I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> You're canceled. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first episode. <laughs> I can't get canceled after the first episode. <laughs> I'm just saying, that was when I was child. This nigga's a womanizer. I'm grown now. <laughs> Oh, I it's remember. over? Oh, okay, cool. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm going to the gym. Make you wish you didn't Every move. Every summer, I was ready. I remember. In my 20s, in my 20s. <laughs> what is this? 20, now we're in 2018 at the time, where you were still shy about taking your shirt off for sketches. You're like, oh, I can't do it. And I'm like, bro, you're there. You're like, no, I'm not there. And I was like, you're there. Yeah, I was like, ah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Because you were still thinking like yeah. the fat kid. Yeah. Like I said, that shit never leaves your mind, bro. Mm. When you grow up a fat kid, you only see the fat kid. And um, then you finally took it off. And you were like, are we done? I got to put it back up. And I'm I like, know. I was so. <laughs> Yo, that was the one with. Uh, That's true, though. Sherelle. With Callie. No, no, no. It was me, you, Sherelle, and someone else. It was right in front of Sketch House. That's me. We were in the grass. Me, you, Naya, and Callie. It was Naya. It was Naya. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, that was crazy. Bro. I was so nervous. Man. Like, just, I don't even know why. It wasn't even nobody around. It's us. Uh, you know, I gotta put on. Some, I gotta do some push-ups before I take my shirt off. Like, bro. I mean, we're all our own worst critics. Yeah, we're always. Yeah, no, that's own, true. And somebody next to you will. I mean. Theoretically, next to you can always look better right. than you can look in your own mind. So it's like, I mean, like I said, you just got to be comfortable nowadays. I had to tell a nigga last night. Nigga came up. He was like, uh, I had known him since like Detroit. Like, and I moved out here when I was 21. Mm. He was like, oh, man, you getting big. And I was like, nigga, you getting small. Because he really was extremely skinny. Like he was sick type right. thing. And I'm yeah. like, nigga, I'm not saying. And in that moment, I had to be like, I apologize, bro. I apologize for making you feel comfortable enough. For you to think that you can say anything you want to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you apologize for him. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you got to get him. Let me, you apologize I'll, for I'll him. Be humble to make it real fast. Because that kind of shit, <clears throat> man. So it's like, you hear that. Man, it hurts. Because people think, uh, you never know what somebody ever is mentally going through, right? No, mm -hmm. you never do. So like my thing was, first of all, last night I was wearing jeans. Let me talk about these jeans, brother. <laughs> Uh, when you get on your chubby shit, sometimes you start wearing a lot more sweats and That's nylon. me right now. Yeah. Shout out I always wear pants, baggy Hello. shit. You know what I mean? yeah. So last night, I'm in these jeans because I've been on my shit. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> and for that nigga to say that, I'm like, you don't even see that I got jeans on, brother. Um, right, can't you see? I'm, I'm, I'm doing, you know, I'm you know doing well with myself. I don't know where I was, man. You don't know where I was, my G. So you can't let people get in your mind, dude? <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's, that's true. That's, that's crazy. true. crazy. And sometimes it's like I, I definitely I get there sometimes, but it's like talking through it. Yeah, man. Just really talking through it, man. You gotta think otherwise. Any gems to drop for these people? Well, I've been dropping so many so far, but oh uh, yeah, man, you know. I mean, gems and what? I have so much shit I want to say, but we got a podcast for a reason. We do. I'll get them. I'll stretch. Them yeah, out. I do a gem a week. That's about. But today I'm not gonna shout out no gems because I haven't been there for a while. So hilarious. Hilarious. That's. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing I want to um, go off of what he said uh, about people getting too comfortable. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, like, 
it's not cool. Like when you're with your boys and you joke in, there's that like outside beta. That outside oh. source. Outside That's the motherfucker beta. who get yeah. the ass beat. And he be like outside beta. And then they be you joke, you make fun of me, clown my shoes or something, and then they come inside like all the yeah, no, no, yeah, look like, at the right. laces. Nigga, I don't know you. Like, yeah. Like who is you, bro? Like, like we yeah. reserve the right to and fuck you. Bro. I'm gonna let everybody yeah. know. I know I look like a soft target, and don't let this light skin. Fool you. <laughs> Don't fuck with Royce. I know I look like Royce <laughs> low-key got a choice. <laughs> Listen, low, low. <laughs> he low-key got a choice. Royce low-key does have a choice. <laughs> Royce has a choice. <laughs> <laughs> For him, he has no choice to like, it. Like, yeah. I'd rather not. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause remember because that, if uh, I do. what? Remember that time when we first shot with each other and we went to that, um, that studio and I'm doing audio and this... Nigga was like following me everywhere. Oh, oh the, 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 yeah. the series? Yeah. Yes. And we shot the series. You know, I'm going to let everybody time. know when there's a like a professional, like a cameraman or um, a sound person or anything like that, don't walk up to them and ask them a billion one questions when they're on set. Like, especially when you, they're working, what, guys. Are, are you pointing the mic the right way? Or do you know, like, are you using, like, they're just randomly what did, asking what did he questions. Say? He said you have a Pelican case. Yeah, so I that's like, what it was. I, right. I was standing there. I was like, I know. Okay, I was so mad. Off. But <laughs> all right, so people are in the profession, we have cases and pelican cases. I put a little sticker on there. It has for, a look to it for though. sound. And he was like, "You got a sticker on there, like that's telling every nigga in the world that um to steal it." I was like, "It's a fucking pelican case, like, like it's not it's actually, it. nigga. You must be a fucking klepto. Yeah. That was the first thing that came to your mind if you're looking at my case. It's so like, I'm like if you have a case." Everybody knows there's expensive shit in it. Yeah. So I was like, it's, all right, nigga, like, whatever. You're trying, to, you're trying to teach me something, I guess. It's, but, it's, it's because it doesn't matter what profession you have, bro. People mm-hmm. feel like they just want to come in and just amplify whatever the fuck you got going on. Like, they walk over to Royce. And you, you a sound guy? Yeah. Cool. Well, what's the frequency on this mm, and this and that? Yeah. Do you know the sound of my girlfriend? Can you hear me from here? <laughs> get your <laughs> ass <laughs> off the set. Girl. Can you hear me from here? Nigga, get off the set. And I'm going to tell everybody the same thing I tell people on set. I don't know. I know nothing. I just bought all this shit because it looks cool. <laughs> and then they come to me, hey, man, you sound guy, bro. You need a new sound guy. Yeah. Bro. I apologize, bro. <laughs> For making you feel comfortable enough <laughs> to say to, to make to you think, think you can say whatever you want to say to me. To and me. the thing is, I will not whoop your ass on set because it's unprofessional. Unprofessional. And I want to think of everybody, I'm a crazy nigga, so then nobody <laughs> wants to work with me no more. You wrap that so, martini shot. Yes. But if I see you on the street <laughs> without anybody seeing, you're gonna get hurt. Yeah, after that choice. martini shot, it's over. It's over. Yeah, that's not the type of person. You were cross because he gonna, he gonna take that shit to the grave. Gonna, you hear me? And not let up. And just to let you ladies know, I am a Scorpio, so we are pretty much <laughs> vengeful. But <laughs> I am nice. <laughs> this nigga okay. brought his moon sign in. <laughs> he brought his moon sign in. He trying to get some booty. <laughs> I just to let you know, ladies. Uh, <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> That shit is Put that smooth. in there. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. <laughs> I live uh, <laughs> on the east of the 101. Oh, just to let you know. Yeah, oh, fun. I know. We gotta yeah. get some drinks. Over fun. <laughs> oh my god. What time is? How long we been doing this? Uh, it's 4:21. Yeah. That That's has a, to be a, a how long? Uh, at least a half uh, hour. For real? At least. This was fun as fuck. <laughs> I would love to do this with my friends. Okay. Cool. Uh, so what you wanna? You wanna? I don't know how how they wrap these things. I up. mean, I don't know. We can <clears throat> one last topic, and we can just end it there. Um, I would say, oh, the original topic that I had <laughs> was about, you know, um, how it's pretty dark in in the industry nowadays. Mm. You know what I'm saying? In all forms of entertainment. Well. Can we keep it some... I mean, I, that's so vague and I get that. It is that. But can we just kind of like let's hone in? Because we haven't... Hone in. We, we've had a few topics that really just came to like society as it is today. Right. In the sense of mo- uh, social media. Mm-hmm. So when it comes down to the social media aspect, because entertainment wise, social media is a profession for a lot of people. For Clearly, lot of people. people on this couch work social media as a main source of income, me mm. being one of them. I'm just speaking for myself. Mm. But I feel like we should have like a, a do's and don'ts or like what, you, you know, like the etiquette of how to handle if you're trying to 
create some shit, if you're trying to work with people, network with people, what to do, what not to do, mm -hmm. and definitely what not to say to certain people who are doing things for you. And I'm kind of projecting about a lot of things I've had <laughs> pent up a little bit. But, you know, I'm going to speak on my shit because, yeah, <laughs> niggas love, love to derail people who actually make the shit for them. The guy with the camera, mm. sound guy, yeah. two people you need. They need to see your shit. They need to hear your shit. Mm. You can't just put any songs and you can get demonetized. So Man. clearly mm -hmm. you need us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when it comes down to like uh, how to, you know, going about hiring people, mm -hmm. you know, the thing is you would kind of, because people love to be like, yo, what's your price? What's your rate? And I'd be like, well, my response to that was a question. What's your budget? Mm. And it's like a it's it's a it's, it's a cycle. A circle. It can it's go a cycle. for yeah. a while. Like, well, I mean, how much you normally charge, nigga? How much do you have to spend? Because I have a rate, but I guarantee you, you have you because like I can tell you my number, and then that I lose my leverage. Mm -hmm. I guess you can say, mm -hmm. yes, as a business person, you do mm -hmm. lose your number. It's like, like if your I'm leverage. saying like obviously I'm trying to maximize my my shit, so it's like if you know you can pay me five hundred dollars for a day rate. And I'm like, ah, uh, you, you know, you asking me something like maybe try to cut you a deal. Like I can do like 200, 250. Like, All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Knowing you can give me more because you see my work, you mm -hmm. see what I can do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm worth it, but you'd rather not pay me for that. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, kind of one of those things. So like, I would say just introduce what your rate, what your budget would be. And then you work from there. Cause a lot of people be like negotiating or some people are like cut and dry. Oh, I can't do that. Cause that's, below my, I'm like, that's you. Mm. Me, individually, I'm like, I can work with all types of budgets, mm. but at the end of the day, if niggas is looking at my shit that I've posted and I've gotten a lot of recognition for, and they're like, damn, I want that. But mm -hmm. the rate is like, over here. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, I can work with that, but don't expect this. You know what I mean? Because it's that's like, true. you're not going to pay for a Ferrari and then put 87 gas in that shit. Because yeah, it's right. not going to work. It's just not right. going to work out for you. Um... I agree and disagree in approach. Obviously, from your experience, that makes sense. For me, I always ask for what I need, what I need to accomplish, and I ask what um, what you charge for this job. Which would Here's be the, the best way to go about it. Yeah. I, 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 would, I respect that because yeah. some people really don't. And that's what I said, how to approach people. Because yeah. people don't come at me like that would be that would well, be people it. just don't know because they're they're not experienced which also shows why you would lead with a higher price because it's like you don't know what you want right mm -hmm. for me to even guide you through this this is what i feel comfortable charging you yeah because i mean yeah. i've been hired yeah. to be like you know the dp or whatever like you know i'll you know bring my camera and everything but when i get there i have found myself being hired for a certain rate mm -hmm. to do one job and you do all six. of a sudden <laughs> why am i directing why am i producing yeah. why am i i'm a gaffer all of a sudden man nah, like i'm like nigga that, this was not in the cards we did <laughs> not discuss this shit before you said yeah. shooting you said you need a shooter that's true <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I gotta man. do all. I gotta write for y'all too, oh, right? Man. Oh, <laughs> so you have yeah, the script. And I take this out. You, you, I say immediately. I say, hey man, I need someone to shoot and edit. All right. Oh, that edit. and and I say I'm gonna do between maybe six and eight sketches. Here are the times they go between. Uh, are you able to do this? One, mm -hmm. two. What are you going to charge for this? This is the time we're shooting. This is the time we're done. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Bam. I give you all the details. You tell me your price. We go from there. I'm never going to try to lower ball you because if I'm paying you, I need that shit done. Yes. Yeah. I'm not doing the whole... Um, because once... I don't do favors. So it's like, if it's like, hey, man, could you just come and Right. Off, off the no. strength. Yeah, no. Off GP. Because no. then the work Think isn't going to be done properly, and it's not going to look right, and then we're going to mm. have a, a real head-to-head. -head. But if I'm paying you for a job, then I feel better at being like, all right, cool, let's move over here and let's do this, because this is what we all agreed to sign up for. But a lot of people don't know business, and a lot mm. of people don't know what they want, so it makes communication yeah. hard. Correct. They're trying to reinvent the wheel. They yeah. see somebody do something, and they want to do it themselves. Man. And I'm like, nigga. Especially in this, Royce, what you got? <laughs> so, for all the people out there that want to hire people, don't give me a price like, I could pay you $150 for um, the day. 
and I need um, a boom and five laws. <laughs> no, it don't it don't it's work a lot that of work. way. It's five people on yeah, it's yeah. a party. Everybody got a line. Mm. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's 10, 12 people. We all gonna be switching lives. I need mm. you, just you handling the sound and the boom. Mm. And and the thing is, is a lot of people, and I understand, don't understand how much the stuff costs that we buy or we invest in. Like the microphones I have, they're probably, you would call them cinema quality. Mm-hmm. And um, they're $1,000 each. There's way more microphones that cost way more than that. Like right. the stuff they use on Avengers, those mics are like five grand. And so people just don't understand that what they're going to get out of everybody like mm-hmm. us, you're going to get great sound and movie quality. And at the same time, same thing is you got to have good editors. So my sound is going to be good. Right. But the editors is going to make it sound like what you sh- hear in a movie. So <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that people need to understand. Yeah. Unless you're watching a Marvel movie in the theaters and you have to sit and wait for that final cut scene at the end of the credits, mm-hmm. you have to sit through those credits. Mm-hmm. All those names is what it takes to create something. Yes. People love to try to make something the biggest they've ever made it, but put all that work on one or two people, it's kind of not fair. Yeah. And they would want to just charge you, you know, like panties on the dollar mm-hmm. for that kind of service. Still, again, not fair. And for people who are making this a very, very serious, you know, profession, business, like I have my Bentley Media LLC, you know, this is what I pay. I use to pay for life. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I need y'all to understand that I have a rate for a reason. My cameras, I have three cameras. Each camera body is 3500 before taxes. Just the body. Damn. No lenses. Mm-hmm. No lenses. And that's already, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, if I were to, if I were to like itemize how much shit I would just bring on a simple shoot... You're looking at like an easy like seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars worth of shit mm-hmm. just to come and shoot your like what short sixty second type. I'm like, I'm gonna put my all into it, but understand that just because you hit me up with like, oh, it's only a sixty second video. It's just forty five seconds of a video. I'm like, all right, well that's still gonna cost a few whatever because we're shooting for a long period of time. Mm-hmm. Just because I hit cut and I turn the camera off does not mean the shit is cut and edited. In the camera. Damn. I have to take this shit home. Now I got more hours behind the camera. Yep. I mean, behind the computer. It I have to edit this shit. It's a process. They it is a fucking process. They don't respect the process. They don't, they respect, don't respect the, the process, process, the shooters. shooters. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we work together. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't. And this is like, I mean, overall, even um, with the equipment and the time and the editing and the just the hours of consistent just being there mm-hmm. overall, none of that means shit if you're just not a good person to be around. Oh, yeah. yeah I, wanna, I have to want to work with you sometimes. You know, yeah. I got to want to be around this energy. It doesn't even matter, like, whether whatever work environment it is, a creative environment, whether, like, you know, we all, everybody talks about energy because we all feel that shit. You're not looking away from, Oh no, this nigga's an asshole. Right. Like, yeah. no, no. Like, yeah, there are some people I haven't even charged because I'm like, oh, I just love this group of people. Man. I, I mean, I build more networks off of these right. people. Like, we're all creative in the same build. Right. Like, I'm, I'm, that's off of the strength. Yeah, I'm I've done the same. I've sickness. done the same with good people. Good people will get oh, yeah. um, things for cheaper. Right. So I'll give you that huge asshole, discount. Bring it all my shit out. You're paying full price. Yeah. I don't give a damn. So I think just overall, you know, be a good person. And, Gotta be, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't be a dick. I won't have people around. Tyree and I started this when we start creating content together. I'm like, yo, I'd rather create stars than deal with the egos of these said stars oh, already. So many oh, egos. Yeah. They Man. grow and they go. They grow and they go was for a reason because they're horrible people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> horrible. Horrible. Oh, man. Yeah, man. You know, you, 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 we've been through this shit. And honestly, now you recognize it so much. It's like, ugh, I'm cool. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Hey, I can't even. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm not even. I don't really want to. Okay, that's yep. cool. Yeah, I feel that. If, if I if I invite you to a shoot, and the first thing I hear is, um, yeah. So what's it about? Nah. All right, I'll talk to you another time. <laughs> I'll talk to you another time. Because <laughs> you know what I'm the fuck fired. I've been doing by now. Like yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Damn. No, what you funny. What you mean? I had, and I'll say this name. Well, I'm not even gonna say his name. Drop but it. I had. I'm a, all about the drop. I had a, a young lady say, 
I'm like, yo, I'm shooting 12 to 5. We out of there. She was like, oh, you know, I don't, that's a long time to be, I was like, 12 to 5? This is a long time yeah. to be on the set. You shoot with X, Y, Z person, mm -hmm. and y'all will be at his house mm -hmm. for this time before y'all even shot anything. Mm -hmm. Y'all the whole y'all did one sketch in the time that I'm about to do 12. Mm -hmm. What are we talking about? Right. So, you know. I okay. mean, it's just being there. Like, it's a, it's a good environment of just, like, have a productive environment. Bro. Oh, yeah. Cause what they you've seen how it is when it's not I'm even if shit bro. even if shit lags the fact that if if this person late this person later just shit's going on mm -hmm. but we're all so happy to be there that says something because yeah. the energy could pull that shit together mm -hmm. and drive it home you know what I'm saying to a to a productive place so overall. It's just being a good person. Being a good person. So many, so many things will open up. And if you want to do shit, do shit. I'm not trying to discourage anybody from like doing it. Yeah. But it's like you know, like don't do it because you want to just be famous overnight, real quick. Because some people be like, oh, I've, you know, this person's video went viral out of nowhere, so I can do that too. And yeah. Remake, and take their idea and then do their shit the same way, and not give them the credit for it either. That's yeah. A, that's that's a whole other topic. That's a whole thing. But be make sure you be the voice. Of the community that you that you have created or you're trying to create, just like they need you. <laughs> you know what I'm and saying? a lot of people do this shit for themselves. Yeah, we the people that gain a fan base. Obviously, they try to cater to the fan base, but remember, originally they didn't have a fan base when they started. They yeah. started that they did this shit for themselves. Yeah, and a lot of creators like that got lost in the sauce come back to try to just do shit for themselves and that can either equate to them changing their style. Yep. Change. Cause that, now they want to do something different. Do yeah, something new. different. And you know, I've seen comment threads go crazy off of people that change their shit up because mm -hmm. they want the old them and yes. not know what they're trying to pursue. I'm Come like, on, man. you know, as a fan, like respect the artists as well. Like just, you know, man, let, let them be them. I've always diversified my page. Just to your point. Yeah. It's like uh rebranding your stuff. It's like I took a month off because I didn't want to do the type of sketches that I was doing before. Mm -hmm. And then I also, also differentiated by doing reaction videos and right. game shows mm -hmm. and different types of lives. Like I treat my channels like a TV network. Right. Where you can have multiple things. What's the different that's thing uh, that you're on now? Because it's, yeah. yeah. But crowds won't often allow you to give them something new. They're like, no, we want the old Kanye. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Kanye. I hear what you're saying. I hear you. But... <laughs> I'm not who I would. It's kind of like in relationships. Like, yeah. I, like my wife was like, you know, you would do X, Y, and Z when we first got together. And I said, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. I hear you. I feel you. I'm not him anymore. Mm. I met you when I was him. I am now him. Mm. Do you love this guy? Damn. If not, I understand. Mm -hmm. But this is who I am. Mm. Right? So, um, and obviously, we're thriving together because she's accepted who I am while still I'll give some things from this for a compromise, but I'm not the, him anymore. You'll give her nostalgia feelings. Yeah. Like, but Yo. creativity, I'm this guy now. Like I literally had a thing where I tried to go do some old hits for them. And I was like, this is not even funny to me anymore. Man. Because I'm not him. Yes. I feel like I'm stealing because this is not me. Yeah. And I'm like, like, for example, we were talking about uh, this idea that I just dropped. You go to a party, you're not invited to, and they kick you out of it, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is the stuff that I really want to do now, where it's more reality-based to how I react to things yeah. instead of super ridiculously over the top. Yeah, make it real. Like, it's like, hey, man, um, my lady said that you tried to get at her. He was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but why would you do that? And that's my, that's my wife. Oh, because I wanted to smash. Cool, cool, Brutally cool, honest. Cool, cool, cool. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, that's hilarious. That's so funny. And that's, that's real thoughts. Yeah. Those are like, you know. I didn't think she was going to tell you that I tried to smash. There's no fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think she was going to tell you that I tried. Why would you not think that, my brother? Well, because I thought we had a connection. So, and that's my mistake. No my mistake. <laughs> my bad, my G. My bad. <laughs> yeah. You win some, you lose some. So like it's that. You know, it's, it's the hardest thing is to rebrand yourself successfully. And um that's why so many artists take time off and why they stop doing the art that you liked them for in the first place. Mm -hmm. A lot of the people who came before us stopped doing it 
because they start making money elsewhere. They did. Sure. And it's great because it's like, first of all, everybody should be trying to make money elsewhere. Exactly. But because you grow out of this. Like, I feel like I only have a couple more years. Of this. Yeah. I, I got it. I'm, I'm, go. I'm done. I'm yeah. done. I'm go, sorry. I was, I, that's why I was like, let me just make the transition now to doing something like real. Like, I, I haven't, I've always wanted to do a podcast, but I was like, man, I don't know. Do it. Yeah, like, what are they gonna say? I don't yeah. care now. I'm just, I know, I know this is for somebody to yeah. just re and it'll know? build as it goes, bro. Yeah, right. It might not even be your core audience you got now. Yeah, no, it's gonna be different people. It's gonna be different people for sure. I got people who only like me for podcasts, mm -hmm. and I got people who only like the game show, people who only like the sketches, people who only like the reaction videos, yep. you know, so on and so forth. People yeah. who only like the stand, so you know, you're, gonna, you're not gonna. Please everybody, but as long as definitely you're pleasing, not, definitely not. I mean, you please the majority of the crowd, then hey, yeah. And as long as you get like, if you got it's different too, man, thousands of people, and then you got that one person that likes everything, you like, oh wow, this is a good this person is, to be supporting me, right? Yeah. Right, right. But thank or you, for a psychopath. Having, you never know. Yeah. I've had a good time. Yeah, okay. oh, yeah. Cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? No choice. My first podcast. No, yeah. My first podcast. My first podcast. We good. At this I, I just get hired to do them and get the fuck out the way. That's it. <laughs> Not in front of the cat. Royce got a choice. Royce got a choice. <laughs> Royce got a choice. <laughs> Royce with no choice in this. He got a choice today. Hey, Royce, I swear we gonna have to. That's gonna be a shirt. I'm gonna keep pushing that shit. <laughs> yeah, that Royce, shit is Royce already got a brand. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shirt. man. Um. Well, I yeah. I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for listening and tuning in. Tuning the fuck in uh, to the first Boom and Pow yeah. podcast. Man, maiden voyage. Right, we did we that. Did that. You want to sign off with your name uh, and where to find you? Okay, so we're, <laughs> I don't know. My real name is Kevin, but we're not gonna worry about that. We're not. We'll talk about that story. Oh yeah, next episode. Next episode, <laughs> <laughs> because that ties into even how we met. <laughs> it's a whole thing, so we'll just save on that. But yeah, Benny's out. Uh, you can follow my Instagram at Benny Lee underscore Media. Mm -hmm. Benny Lee, one word, um, and then Kevin Benny Lee at Kevin Benny Lee on Twitter. Right, but for the sake of this video and podcast, it's Benny. It's Benny Lee. <laughs> Benny Lee. Nothing else. Benny. Of course. Uh, no choice. Nobody follows me. Only the uh, professionals that pay me follow me. But <laughs> damn, what? I know. There's no holes out there. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Obsidian Soundfield. I know it's too long for some people to spill. We'll put it on the on the screen. But we'll put it on there. On. And I strictly do sound. I don't post that much because I can't film myself while I'm working. But. You'll see some job of that though. Do a pretty good job. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, thanks for having me. CT is dope on everything. <laughs> no, no, like, no, but what's your at? <laughs> That's his at. At CT is dope on everything. Everything. <laughs> okay. Patreon.com slash CT is dope. Okay, you're being dope on there, but what is the at? YouTube, CT is dope. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram, CT is dope. Bro. Across the board. Bro, Across this the board. is too much. You're like, I get it. You're very confident. But give these people the name that they're supposed to fucking give. Because uh, I'm tripping. At uh -huh. CT is dope on everything. Oh, like, that's the name. I thought you were saying, like, you're literally dope everywhere. No. It's CT. Yeah, I knew that. It's dope that on joke. everything on Twitter. <laughs> CT dope is uh, on Instagram. everything on Instagram. Woo. That's how it is. Uh, oh, hey, y'all know your boy. Uh, we'll be back next week. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe. Yeah, let these people know. If you're not know. already subscribed, let them know we're doing this. And please like, actually share this. No, literally. Tell your grandma. And follow yeah. me on Instagram. The fake Tyree. T Y R H. E -E. There's a silent H, daddy issues. We'll talk about that <laughs> next, next, next episode. Tear he it's not tear he, it's Tyree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We good. Re I'll get two followers now. Yeah, did you turn that off? How do you how do you sign up? How do you sign up? We just we, we just leave uh, on some dramatic shit. Alright. We good.
We be popping bottles, sipping no do say. Pull up in a 